wanna know how I do it all well. Daddy with the name, play big material. Oh, I'm so lucky. No. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Did not. And yes, I did. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay as fine and you full of full of grace. I am. Oh my God! Behind the gun. <laughs> It's uh, my time I should have been gone, but oh well, I am uh, kind of have to get it together. I've been up early, early, early and should have been together, but I couldn't decide what outfit I wanted to wear for Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to all of my listeners. Hope you and your sweeties are doing great and gonna have a beautiful Valentine's Day today. I, uh, oh, no. I know, I know, sweetie. I don't have my seatbelt and I'm moving. I know it. Mama gonna get it together. All right, I just about got it together. Yeah, okay. Phone, earpiece. I'm, if I had got this outfit together last night, in my mind, I had three outfits to put on to, to figure out what I wanted to wear. I've mixed and matched those three outfits. <laughs> I don't know. It's just in my mind, I see it. I see the outfit. But then when I put it on, it just don't always come together. But anyway, that's, the, that's just my thing. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope this day finds you great. I have uh, several different things I want to announce today. One, uh, we're doing an interview this week uh, with one of our major players in the uh, print industry. So we have that scheduled for this week and hopefully we'll have that ready for you guys this weekend. If not, it'll be the next. And I, if not, I do have a marketing interview already ready to go just in case I don't have it ready. So I'm ready for you guys. Boop, 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 boop. So you won't, you won't come at me. Um, thirdly, uh, that's it, secondly? No. secondly, secondly, uh, we have, uh, uh, some things that I'm going to uh, go ahead and talk about today uh, about marketing. I'm going to try to make sure I in inject the marketing every day to you guys because you guys need to have some type of basis that you guys are going on with your businesses as far as marketing. That is a major player, major part, major part and I'm going to talk about marketing every day because you got to have marketing in your business if you want to be successful. Um, you got to have that. And this is just no way around it uh, because you have to mean in people to your business. But anyway, that's that second. Thirdly, uh, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> I want you guys to really take hold to your sweethearts and uh, show them some love on today. I know some people do not believe in this as well as a manufactured holiday or whatever, but it is a time for you to set aside to think about your sweeties and all the things that they do for you and all the things that they um, are doing for you. Uh, it's a great thing to have a sweetie and um, just kind of give them a little bit of extra today. You know, I know, I know you probably do that always, but you know, do it a little bit extra thick today. You know what I'm saying? Just do it a little bit extra thick. But um, yeah, I hope, I hope uh, everybody has a great day and uh, enjoy their, their times with their sweethearts, okay? Looks like the traffic's gonna be light today because of it. I'm happy I can get in and out. I should have been on earlier. A lot of people would probably went to work early today because they wanted to leave early and get out and be with their sweethearts. So that's even better for me. I'm grateful for that. Anyway, going back to marketing, marketing. Okay, so marketing. Marketing is something that I think we kind of hold with 
the amount of money in which we have that we think we can't market our business. But you can market your business without having funds being used. Really? Really? Uh, maybe a little bit of funds. I'm not going to say no funds, not zero funds. There could be some funds, but not a whole lot. You know, maybe under $100. You can market for under $100, I'm going to say that. Uh, without it being so expensive that you can't get it done. Reason being. You always hear me talk about guerrilla marketing. Well, guerrilla marketing is something that has been a staple in any type of marketing business because it's ground bootstraps uh, level, okay? So it means that you are the person doing all of the work. You're not hiring anybody to do work. It's not a digital marketing plan. It's not on social media. It's any of those things, but it is you, you, you. The person actually doing the work to get the actual market to your business. How do you do that? You ask. Great question. Love it. One, flyers, business cards, uh, any type of paper, brochure, any of those things, those are bootstrapping yourself. That means that you, the individual, are taking these things to the person or the people or the businesses or whomever it is that is your target audience and you're getting that in front of their face, in their hands, and you, the person, are in front of them. And I don't like to talk to people in person. I understand. Get over it. You're in business. You want their business. You're going to have to talk to them about your business. So if you're not willing to be in business, then you don't need to be in business if you're not willing to deal with people. And dealing with people means that you have to talk about your business as if you are nonstop. You know how you always see all these people on TV late at night and they will be talking about their business like, I don't want to hear that. And you turn the TV off. Well, guess what? They were doing their job. They were bootstrapping it. They were actually getting the word out there about their business. You remember all these things that used to be in the paper? It used to be a big old long thing about uh, their business and you know, just like a target letter for, you know, a uh, whole uh, advertisement in there. Well, they, they were bootstrapping it. They were actually getting the business out there to you and you actually made caught some attention to some. Give you a perfect example. Remember back in the day, I don't know if I'm telling my age or not, but I'm going to give you a big get, get out of jail free card on this one. Remember back in the day, we used to have newspaper things that come to our, or even in the magazines, you would see this little section of your long rectangle thing with a whole bunch of CDs or books, and you would put a penny on there, and you would get this penny on there and send it back in to them, or they tell you, Hello, 
I had CDs or tapes, you know, I think it was tapes first, then it was CDs. Well, I had all the tapes uh, at that time of all those different people. So, so uh, cassette tapes, not a tracks tapes. We'll make sure I understood that. Not that old. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the point is, they gave me a hook. That's my point I'm trying to get to you. You gotta have a hook to catch your customer. Once you have that hook, then you got their attention. And now they're listening to what you had to say. Otherwise, I would have kept strolling in that magazine. Well, the same thing for the people that was on the news time, on, on the channel, the TV channel with you guys late at night. They had to have a hook to catch your attention, keep you on that station to listen to their actual commercial and call in or request their information of what they were actually talking about. Once they had their hook and they got you, their market was done because now they got you interested in their product. And now they're going to show you the product works or not works or whatever the case may be of the product. But the fact of the matter is, they got your attention. So make sure you have a hook when you have having your marketing materials out and ready to go. Make sure you're ready to um, to capture that attention to love that customer and speak with them. Because guess what? You're going to have to talk about your product. And talking about your product is not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing because you want to uh, be able to to give more information about the product that you're talking about, or the product that you need to uh, be uh, be be uh, dispersing. You gotta have that. If you don't have that, then why are you in business? If you're afraid to talk to people, you're afraid to deal with people, you're afraid of them telling you no, get over that. Because guess what? It's nothing wrong with somebody telling you no. And this means that that product is not for them. You gotta find your targeted person that's looking for you. And once you do that, then you'll provide information that they need. I hope this day finds you great. I hope I've given you information you could use today about marketing and giving you some insightful information that can actually lead you to the targeted market and the marketing materials that is going to will be useful if you don't get over useful for you you guys have a great day enjoy yourselves with your sweeties and um happy valentine's day okay i'm gonna get over here before i have to hurt somebody i ain't got to pull out this dog on time but you know that's just a little bit fun. Oh, that's crazy. But I hope you guys have a great day. Hope this lunch is great and uh, be blessed. Uh, I'm going to fight this traffic and see like there's more traffic over here than it was over there. And I will talk to you guys again a little bit. Like, subscribe, comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video.